Alright, I have a bigger banger. So, um... Later. I can't believe I'm doing this. That was pretty good. Hope I can craft them soon. Just, uh... Oh, I... Watching the day go by. I bet they're made pretty much the same way as bangers, but they it's use the TNT. Look, I really need this. I'm trying to get the right thing. Here we go. Where are you going? Okay. They really are just unlimited. Bobbies aren't there. Take them out, but they just seem to come back. It's weird how they group together. There's a quest over here that says Eddie goes downer. I have no idea what that is. Maybe another need to come back during the day thing? Probably. Let's explore around back here, though. Yeah, just coming back to this Eddie Goes Downer place during the daytime, and it looks like they have appeared now. Oh, there's a doctor coming. Yeah. I could get her off joy in a tick. Might save our life. Someone's overdosing a crash syringe will clear all the joy from their body. Try to breathe. Using one on someone who's simply in your way would be frightfully unkind, wouldn't it? Talking about the doctor. Okay, crash... is it... Yeah, it's here. So, hold on. I can use... Crash on other people, right? It's considered... A gadget? Works only on others. Some... Uh, uh, over there! I I it's a downer! Over there, a downer! <laughs> Can't you see this woman is sick? What do you think you're doing? You want her to die? <laughs> My god. <laughs> Some things are going on. Oh goodness. Why is everything so great? I feel so... Sad. Thank god you've recovered. Here. Take some joy. But... I think the joy is what set me off. The moment I took it this time, I started to shake. Well, you can't just stop taking joy. You want to become a downer? I can't. Something's gone wrong with me. I can't tolerate it anymore. Look at her eyes. She's completely off her joy. Miss Minturn, you simply must take your joy. We insist. Yes, of course. I shall. Just let me catch my breath. It's like the joy just I'll let you alone, broke I something promise. in her mind. Or was we it bad joy? It. Seems like there's been a lot of bad joy lately. Take your okay, I'm going to defend them, although I don't know how much good it's going to do, because, like, I mean, where are they going to go now after this? But, let's go for non-lethal. Oh, 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 
Or did I just never notice? Where Jesus Christ. That's the one more time. Must have it somewhere. Oh, maybe I don't have any vomit bombs left. I don't. Okay, hold on. Take your jaw, you stinky downer! Over. <laughs> I don't know if it is over, lady. Wait, where did my shit? Where did my thing go? This is hilarious. <laughs> There's so much goofy stuff happening right now. Where did my shock grenade go, though? I thought I had more. Did I just have the one? I guess I just had the one. This is kind of working. Sort of. Right, they're spawning in from the things. So they're just gonna keep coming, right? What am I doing? Oh, maybe that's just the doctor. I think they have a special thing. Ouch. Am I making a den? There they are. Stop them. I didn't do anything. Okay, this is not working. There's too many. Whew. That was fun. <laughs> 
I need more like bombs and area of effect things though. God, look at how many constables there are. God, if I had some big bombs. Oh. Impatient person. And carry on. You? And don't forget I don't think the train comes here anymore. The train? Oh, uh, because of the, um... Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's the butcher's boy, Edmund. He's never been late before. That's not Edmund McMillan, is he? I, I hope nothing's happened to him. I, I mean, meat's like gold these days. And he's a bit dim. And so Edmund McMillan's the meat boy now. He was the only friend Percy ever really had. Oh. They were always making them both stay off to school. I'm glad he found a job. I guess his parents aren't looking after him anymore. Maybe I should see what's become of him. I wonder if he's missed any more deliveries. Oh, we have nine skill points? What am I getting next? Take less damage. Ooh, now that I still don't understand what Chain Sweep really does, but looking at that group of enemies being affected, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to get it. Prepare an even bigger wallop with a chance to stun. That would be cool. Chance of breaking an enemy's weapon with a successful block with your weapon can also stun. Right, uh, let's make the quest. Okay. I didn't say anything because I thought that I was just being silly and it probably wasn't a reference, but it is definitely a reference. So the name of the person is Ed McMillan. That's the name or similar to the name of one of the developers behind Super Meat Boy in Binding of Isaac. And well, I thought that might be referring to them, but really cinched it when the name of the quest is Superb Meat Boy instead of Super Meat Boy, the name of the one of their games that they made. In order for tempering your constitution. So is it just right here? Yeah. And the weather is delightfully sunny inside and out. Love the English spring. I expect to see nothing but oh. smiles out there. In fact, anything but smiles out there. There's somebody down here. <laughs> also, extremely unlikely. Unless someone's happy face falls off. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Better make sure it's not you. <laughs> Oh no, that's just the person outside, the impatient person, I think. Coming from the general direction of the Victory Memorial Cap, don't worry. If what is tough and blowing themselves up. Shh. It was merely the members of the whole army testing their order. What do you want? We only want to help you feel better. Uh. I don't have time for this nonsense. Will they not see me if I'm like this? Why are they on the bed? Shh. I think somebody heard me. Oh yeah, there's... Oh! There's a couple people up there. What are you doing in my ass? Nothing. You won't get away! Scarpet, didn't you? It happened. Aren't you the one? How'd you get in? Come out and take your medicine! Is it roast chicken? Or is it just several Right. Enough of that then. Time for tea? Yeah. You have to go visit yourself. And do give your favorite butcher my regard. 
Oh, come on. You can't be sitting down. I can't get you. Someone that get out. Get out of my house. All you have to do, the department is looking at You won't get away. This <laughs> trick works every time. Where did you go? There's the good as God. Victory Memorial. Around the chain link fence. People are all looking the wrong way. Let's try something else. Right, like, I don't know, Rick the Stunt Duck? Then again, doesn't that blow up at the end of its thing? That seems awfully dangerous. Mm. I don't know. Let's try it. What are you doing in my house? Where did you go? Excuse me, could you move? My God! Thief! All right, whatever. Get out! You won't get away. And it's written by me, Jack Word. A lovely little book with cheery illustrations and quotations from all your favorite wartime heroes. Absolutely everything you could ever want to know about the war. Did you hear that? Who are you? God, it's so fucked up to just club everybody into unconsciousness. We see the violence inherent in the system. Bricks, Power Cell, Jimmy Bar, 18 Sovereigns. Okay, am I exploring the wrong house or what? Whoops. Wait. I am exploring the wrong house. This is just a random person's house. This is where I need to go. Well, I'm out of here. Ow. Okay, this is place number one for Superb Meat Boy. For some reason, there's another place listed, and I don't know why. Another impatient person? Not quite sure what's going on. Maybe different places that they were going to deliver. Trying to find where they got stuck or stopped on their delivery route or something? Lovely weather. I learned a new batter cake routine. Do you want? <gasps> no, I'm good. Look, it's not you. It's me. Are you a downer? No. Why? You won't get away with this. You're not going to ruin things for the rest of us. There. That's the one. Oh no. It's not personal. Okay, I thought we we're going to have a bunch of bobbies in here.
Oh no. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Oh, a sewing kit. Yes. Rest in my feet. Hold on. Should I be wearing my military uniform? Will that do anything here? Makes. Oh, makes decent people upset. Doesn't bother rotten wastrels, though. Why does it make decent people upset? Is this a. Is it because it reminds them of the war, probably? Hmm. Well, it would definitely wouldn't help to wear that then. Oh, <laughs> that's satisfying. Oh, Gibby. Gibby's chewing on my microphone again. Baby, get off my desk, weirdo. to disable that really Ooh, nice. Yeah, so I guess Ed McMillan just isn't here, so we should go to the other place? But then why is this place still marked? Is this, is it just right next to the home? I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. I guess I'm just supposed to talk to all the impatient people. Are you waiting for someone? The butcher's boy. He's a bit slow, but he's usually right on the dot. Do you know where he might be? I haven't seen him all day. But Fanny might know. She was planning a festive meal, I think. Probably out shopping, I'd imagine. She's quite the cook, you know. Okay, yeah, we're just supposed to talk with people. Here we go, this is the final place. Are you Fanny? What if I was? I'm looking for Edmund, the butcher's boy. He's late. He's always so punctual. Someone saw him going into the alley. You know, the one that always smells like cheese. Did you look for him? I'm not going back there. That's where the plowboys convene. The street gang? Oh dear. I have a terrible feeling he's in trouble. Maybe I should go and see if I can't straighten things out for him. Oh, they better not be dead. Hey, leave him alone! Hey, fuck off! Why don't you pick on someone who can defend himself? Why the fuck would we do that? Oh, it's Arthur Hastings, Miss Victoria's pet. Boys, this is our lucky day. They really fucked him up. They got broken, exposed bones. Oh my god. I'm not gonna be non lethal with these fucks. Damn. Jesus. Blanket. 
I don't think I want a bunch of lead pipes. Uh, Cricket Bat will take, actually. It's a pretty rare to have of any significant quality. Arthur! You all right? My legs won't walk. I, I think they're broken. Did the plant boys say why they were hurting you? He said they were having their fun. Here, I'll take you to the pub. They'll get you a doctor. They knew me there. Sometimes they give me treats. I don't want to be a meat boy anymore, Arthur. Do you want me to tell the butcher? He'll be mad that I didn't deliver the packages. Do you want me to deliver them for you? You're good, Arthur. Percy always said so. I bet he'd let you be the new meat boy if you wanted. The, the packages always say where to go. He writes them so we don't get lost. Arthur? D -d don't leave me here. Not going to. Carry them to the pub. Where's the pub? Do you remember Percy? Wait a minute. Of course I remember Percy. He's my brother. Arthur! D -d don't leave me here! I won't. I just need these. It's just... people forget things. Oh no. Miss Victoria said he was dim. Ah, uh, deliver packages, deliver packages, deliver... Where's... Where's the pub? I don't know, I guess I just delivered the packages while I'm carrying them? <laughs> this is but weird. Was, he was smart. And she said she's my wife too. What and he never lied. Most people lie all the time. Did you know that? Yes. I'm afraid I'm one of them. But you're good, Arthur. Percy said so. I'm gonna find him. I promised I'll take care of him. Do you know where he is? Somewhere in Germany. Or Russia. Is that very far away? Yes. Is it very cold there? Yes. But I'm afraid it is. Arthur! Oh, I think I've Don't leave me here! Yeah, this is it. Oh, lovely, lovely. Won't my man be pleased? It's so hard to find a decent cut of meat these days. About that. Where does he get the meat? Oh, oh, oh. Transubstantiation, I hope. <laughs> Thanks so much and have a lovely day. Don't want to think about it, do you? I've got your package. You are a dear. D -d Don't leave me here. And here's a package for the butcher. Am I supposed to pick something up? I found some mushrooms in the attic. I'm pretty sure they're edible. And a tin of axle grease. And some bee meat. I won't eat it when it goes off like that. What does he do with all that? Oh, that's his special magic power. He makes sausages out of most atrocious things and they taste wonderful. I'm sure he'll give you one. It's how he pays the deliveries. Well, that's something to look forward to. Arthur! Sorry about the wait. Oh, th that's don't leave me here. And this is for him. Mushrooms? Oh no, dear. I supply him with the very freshest meat. Anyone can put a trap where they like to run, you see. But they won't go for V-meat anymore. I make it smell a bit rotten. They run right in. Can't help themselves. I'll bear that in mind. I hear he's open to... new sources. New... sources? Oh, never mind. I'll just ask him myself. Brilliant. I'll just... Take this back to him. I'm off to see the butcher, a wonderful butcher of ours. I don't suppose you've seen Arthur? my meat boy, Edmund. D -d don't leave the, me here. Uh, Ploughboy's broke his legs. Oh, that's a damn shame. He's simple, you know, but reliable. I dropped off his packages, and uh, the ladies gave me these. Oh, 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 lovely. There's quite a shortage of cows in Amlin, I can tell you that. <laughs> Listen, we've got one small, uh, errand. If you're up for it, I'll give you what I pay Edmund. An errand? Another pickup. Kinda big. How big? How tall would you say you are? Six foot? About six feet big. My, uh, source had it on a cart. Here, we'll give you a map. It's, um, it's near where that statue used to be. You, you know, with the Mad Hatter and the White Rabbit and the... 
the, the, the woman. You know, where they were going to build a band shell, but then they didn't. I know the place. I uh, can't make any promises. Of course not. Not is as good as a wink. Say no more. Say no more. I'll make sure that they write on the package where you're supposed to take it. It's a bit uh, awkward to bring it directly here. <laughs> hmm. Um. So. So. Where do I take it? Like, I thought I'd turn him in here? Yeah, there was a whole separate quest for where to return, Ed. So, I made that the main quest. It's this pub here. The Wicker Man. Cursed. Eddie! Who did this to you? Was it a Playboys? Do fuckers all kill him? You're a decent sort to bring him in. We'll take care of him, don't you worry. Here, have a drink on the apes. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Did you find Percy yet? Not yet. Lovely day for it. How can I help you? <laughs> Look at that. Pie, chunky stew, toasted chicory. Ooh. The pie is yummy and extremely filling. Increases maximum stamina for an extended time. Okay, so that's really good. Chunky stew, maximum stamina for an extended time. Man, that's really expensive. I mean, I loot damn near everything I can find, and I only have 499 sovereigns. Of course, I don't sell anything, and I certainly have a lot of stuff I could sell. In fact, let's sell them something right now. You know what? It's not worth it to micromanage that stuff. I already spent so much time managing my inventory. I'll be no back thanks. In a jeep. Right. Well, that possibly heinous package is just right here. What are you inspecting it? Suspicious. Please keep clear of the area, sir. We are conducting an investigation into a possibly heinous package. Hmm. Oh, don't get too close to me. What is this place here? Oh, it's very pretty in here. Quiet zone. Yeah, something's going on inside of there. Thomasina house. But I don't think that's relevant for this. Wasn't me. I didn't do it. Don't make me come find you. I'll best be discreet. Come on out there. Stash the possibly heinous package in the ash cart behind the butchers. This is a body? I'm carrying a body. Are people going to freak out when they see me carrying what obviously looks like a body? Apparently not. Okay, cool. That is definitely... Yeah. You know, I don't want to jump the gun too much, but I... I think that's a dead human being. We had a dog, didn't we? When we were young, before the war. His name was... Stripe. Stripe. Let's drop it off. Always happy to support my local cannibal. <laughs> God. Tell Mr. Cuddy the good news. Lovely day for it. 
Arthur Hastings! You are an intrepid young man. You've done me a solid. They don't make them like you anymore. Well, we suppose they don't make them at all anymore. <laughs> Here, the least I can do is give you what I gave poor Edmund. Look, my job has been getting complicated. I could certainly use an apprentice. Would you like a permanent position? The Slaughterer's Apprentice. Butchery awaits. So that's how I get back there. I feel like this is going to really help me find Percy, you know? And it'll make for a good story that I can tell Percy. When and if I find them. So, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. When I return, I'm going to see what work I can do in the cannibal butchery shop. <laughs> and then after that, go back on the main quest and go to Haworth Labs.